Hey there guys, it's been a little while since I have posted a new flow for you. So here we are today with a post-workout or a post-training series of shapes that is really geared towards opening up the hips, the hamstrings, the lower body, um, and it should feel awesome and achievable in the sense that it will be under 20 minutes so you can sneak it right in afterwards or after work or in the evening before you get ready for bed. So my name is Jen, I'm a licensed athletic trainer and I'm a registered yoga teacher and let's get ourselves moving. We're gonna start this practice lying on our back. So once we find our, our way there, let's take some space between the feet and drop the knees off to one side. Full breath in here and exhale out. Bring it back towards the center, breath in, and then as you breathe out, opposite side. Let's go ahead and move through a few of these windshield wiper type shapes and pausing anywhere that you're feeling maybe some stiffness or tightness in the body and just giving yourself a moment or two to melt into that, uh, that posture. So a few more to each side and eventually we'll meet with the knees reaching upwards, reset the feet so that our feet are nice and parallel to one another. Starting with the left knee, we'll hug the left knee in towards the chest and then we'll take those toes and reach them up towards the shin bone. So getting some flexion through the ankle, some energy to start, deep breath in. As you breathe out, pressing into the foot that's on the floor. Inhale, drawing the knee in a little bit tighter towards the chest. Exhale, pressing the foot into the floor. So creating some opposition in the hips. Inhale, we'll reach the left leg up, take the hands behind the hamstring, and we'll just point, flex, take some circles through the ankle. And then eventually we'll come to stillness, pointing through the toes, draw the heel in towards the glutes. Lengthen out the leg, heel towards the glutes. Just moving through some easy extension and flexion of the knee that will work almost like a flossing type sequence of the hamstring. Eventually we'll reach the toes so that they're all the way up. Rotate the whole toe, the lower body, outwards and bend the knee. Turn the toes in, reach up, toes out, come in, toes in, extend. So I'm just rotating the shin bone. So my thigh bone, my femur is not moving at all. Eventually we'll just lengthen out through the leg, draw the knee in towards the chest, and then set the foot down. Hugging the right knee in towards the chest. Hold the toes up towards the shin. We'll take a deep breath, hugging the knee in just a bit tighter towards the ribs. As you breathe out, pressing into the left leg, left foot. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, pressing down. One more just like this. Inhale, right knee comes in. Exhale, pressing the left foot down. Going ahead to lengthen that right leg, toes will point and flex, creating some circles, a little space in the ankle, the feet, and the toes. And then pulling the heel in towards the glutes will flow through this little hamstring work. So the only thing that is moving is the shin bone, okay? So we're drawing heel in, and then we'll get that little rotation, a little figure eight. So I'm pulling my toes out, bend, toes in, extend. And then reach the leg up, we'll place the foot down. Take the arms out to the T, big stretch to the chest, inhale. As you exhale, draw it in, knees to the chest. We'll get a little rock side to side. And then eventually 
we're going to generate some momentum front to back with a little straddle flow. So take a peek here. We're going to inhale and exhale front to back. And then eventually when we generate enough momentum, we'll come into straddle and ease our way back. three to four and eventually we'll come up into that straddle shape point and flex through the ankles and then we'll bring the soles of the feet together so the soles of the feet are together we're gonna sit up nice and tall through the spine the chin is gonna tuck back ever so slightly take a deep breath in and exhale out Bring the arms out, pull the elbows back, palms will come up. So getting some slight shoulder external rotation, fingers will pull back, elbows will work their way forward. Big chest stretch. Deep breath. As you exhale, we're gonna take the hands forward just as a diver would jump into a pool. Chin to the chest. Inhale, pull the elbows back. Exhale, dive it forward. Inhale, pull the elbows back and then exhale, dive it forward. Pulling the elbows back, take a deep breath. As you exhale, gentle twist towards your right. Inhale to center, exhale, we'll twist left. Coming back to the center, we'll just cross the ankle one foot in front of the other, and we'll take a side bend towards one side, softening through this bottom elbow. Reaching those top fingertips nice and long, the palm is going to spin downwards. As you breathe, we'll take two to three breaths here, right into this long line of the body, keeping that left sitting bone really pressing downwards as you reach in up position. So one more breath here. Exhale it out, sweep it forward. We'll walk ourselves back upright. Hands will reach, fingertips nice and wide. Place the left hand down, softening the elbow. Side body stretch. Actively pressing that right sitting bone downwards into the ground, into the mat. Fingertips are reaching up and over the cheek, almost as if someone has your wrist and is pulling that length. Nice side body stretch on that right side, opening up into the lats, right underneath the arms, into the ribs. Breathe, come forward. We'll sweep the arms behind. We'll just pause here for a moment, reconnect. Let's find tabletop. So we're gonna swing the legs around. Tabletop is just hands and knees. And just being mindful that our hips and knees are in alignment. So a strong foundational shape here. Gaze will stay down. Take a deep breath. And exhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Inhale, drop the chin, rounding through the back. Drop the tailbone. Give the head a little shake. And then as you breathe, we'll find that neutral spine and reach the right leg back. Creating this little front to back saw type shape. Working into the wrists, the ankles. And then eventually we'll stack shoulder, elbows, and wrists. Pulling the belly button in and up, we'll lift right foot and then tap the toes off to the left, gaze over the left shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, two more breaths here. And breathe out. Last one. And out. Go ahead and lift that right heel, float it back, place the knee right alongside the left, reach it back into child's pose. Just for a moment, come off the wrists. Option to tent up onto the fingertips, take a breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Coming forward, tabletop. Re-engaging our core, we'll take a breath in. Exhale, reach the left toes back. Strong through the upper body, pressing the hands down into the mat, lifting through that upper back area. We'll just shift front to back. 
Finding that stillness here. As you breathe, we'll lift, float the left heel, step it over towards the right, we'll gaze over the right shoulder. Another side body IT band stretch. Good, full breath in and breath out. Floating the left leg up, we'll place the knee down. Wide knee child's pose, so big toes will meet, knees are wide, come on back, reach fingertips forward, taking a breath in child's pose. Begin to come forward, fingers will spread nice and wide, we'll reach the toes back, tucking all ten. As you breathe, firming through that midsection, hover the knees. As you exhale, we'll find downward facing dog. Bend the right knee, bend the left. Begin to work out the hamstrings before settling into that shape. Go ahead and take a few uh, pedals right to left through the legs. And then we're gonna build on top, okay? So we're in our downward facing dog. <coughs> Gaze forward, we're gonna step the right foot forward, placing the left knee downward. So coming into a kneeling lunge. Hands will come to the top of that front right thigh. Give a gentle press down as we lift up those back five toes. Go ahead and press them down. We'll get some more engagement here in this, in this quad muscle. As you breathe, Dropping the tailbone down, we'll take the left hand alongside the left hip. Fingers will flex. Begin to sweep the palms, sweep the hand up just to about shoulder height. Pause here. Take a deep breath. Exhale, come all the way up. We'll get the bicep towards the ear. One more full inhale. As you exhale, we'll gently twist towards the right. Inhale, back up. As you exhale, take the hands down on either side of that front foot and tuck the back toes. We're in a runner's lunge, so really lifting up through that left side of the body, the left glute. And then take the whole shape, we're gonna shift it back. Now there's no need to lock out this front knee. So we'll keep a soft bend, pyramid pose, super wide pyramid pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, walk it forward, runner's lunge. Fingertips will come forward. We'll pop up off the back foot to an L shape and step the foot down to meet the right. Again, soft knees here. Get a little shake of the head, press into the shins, lengthen. As you exhale, forward fold. Let's roll up to stand, take your time. We're stacking vertebrae on top of vertebrae and then release the hands by the side. Sweep the arms all the way up. As you exhale, we'll forward fold. Inhale into a long spine and then we'll step back to a push up plank. Pause here, inhale. Exhale, tap the knees, find downward facing dog as you exhale. Step the left foot forward, place the right knee down. We'll set up for that same kneeling lunge on the opposite side. Take the hands to that front thigh. Gentle press down. Tailbone is nice and heavy. And just mindful that we're not getting deep into this lunge, okay? We're missing that psoas stretch, so back it up a little bit. Nice and tall here, take a breath in. Exhale, take the right hand alongside the body. So this is what I'm doing on the other side. As you breathe, we'll begin to bring the fingertips, the palm forward until we hit shoulder height. Take a deep breath. Exhale, complete the journey so that that upper arm comes right alongside the cheek, maybe up towards the ear. We'll pause here. Breathing in deeply and breathing out. Inhale, we'll take a subtle twist, so we'll lengthen 
Exhale, take the right hand to the opposite shoulder, gentle twist towards the left. Coming back, inhale. Exhale, place the hands on either side of the front foot. We'll tuck the back toes, runner's lunge. Again, mindful that we're not dropping down through that right hip. So we'll lift the right hip, take a deep breath here. And then exhale, we'll shift the hips back, keeping this front knee slightly softened. Wide pyramid pose. Breath in. And breath out. Gaze forward, bending through the front knee. We'll just pause in our runner's lunge. Walk the fingertips slightly forward. We'll come up onto the left foot, lifting the right L shape, and then step the foot down to meet the left. Press into the shins. We'll lengthen. Exhale, let's fold. Take your time, rolling the body up to standing. And then just give the shoulders a roll back. So we'll find mountain pose, which are standing foundational shape in yoga. And then just checking down to the feet that we have just a little space. Now that's the only time I'm gonna cue you to look down at the feet. So the next little drill is without looking, without cheating, I invite you to lift all 10 toes. We're so used to being squished in sneakers and dress shoes and cleats that sometimes our toes lose the ability to move. And they should be able to splay out and place all 10 toes back down, keeping them a little bit spread out. And give the mat, the towel, the floor, whatever you're saying, just a little bit of a, a hug. Curl the toes in. Again, without looking, lift all 10 toes, creating space. And keeping the toes spread out away from each other, placing them back down on the floor surface. Good. Last time, lift all 10 toes. And then here's our little, our little party trick here. We're going to start on the outside of the feet, so the pinky side, and start by setting the pinky side, the middle toes, and eventually the big toes. Good. Try it one more time. Lift all 10 toes. And starting at the pinky edge, we're going to let each one come back down onto the mat. And a deep breath out. Hands will come to the hips. Let's sit the hips back towards the heels, almost like we're reaching back for a chair. So we're gonna reach back, take the hands to the upper thighs, press into the upper thighs, round through the back, chin to the chest, breath in. Exhale, open up the collarbones, pinch shoulder blades together, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. Breath in. And breath out. Sweep it up. Inhale. Big sweep. Forward fold. Sweep the arms to the left. To the right. And then eventually, we'll come down. Hips to the heels. Little tiptoe squat. Just a brief stretch the soles of the feet and the toes. Take a breath in. Exhale out. Bring the fingertips forward. We'll drop the knees, keeping the toes tucked just for a moment. And for most of us, this is going to be intense. Try to take a full inhale and exhale if you can. And then we'll come off of the toes, untuck. Give them a quick little pat. And then we'll just take a moment here to swing the legs around, coming into a seat. Soles of the feet are gonna come down, a little space, so just about two fists can fit in between, just to give you a reference point. We'll pull into the knees, lengthen and grow the spine. Exhale, take the fingertips behind so that the fingertips are just behind the glutes. We'll shift it back. Take one step back and another step back. Pulling the shoulder blades in as if you're kind of working them inwards, knitting them together. We'll open up the chest. This is a great place to start. Okay, so this is a deep chest opener. 
Take a deep breath here. Exhale out. Maybe we have some space to lift the hips. Again, another great place to be. Set it back down, hug, and we'll build on that one more time. So now that we know uh, kind of those levels, those spaces that are safe for our body, we'll set up fingertips to the glutes, one step back, one step back, elbows will pull inwards, shoulder blades knit inward. Take a deep breath. Exhale, maybe we stay here. Another breath, we're coming to reverse table. We'll lift the hips. And if we have pain, please come out, come out. Otherwise, amazing shoulder opener, chest. We'll set it back down and then release the arms. Hugging forward. Go ahead and crisscross the legs. We'll take the right foot, right ankle in front of the left shin. Sitting up nice and tall, reach the fingertips out towards the sides. Right arm on top, left arm under. Really work those fingers back so that the elbows work to stack over one another. As you breathe, lift. And as you breathe out, chin to the chest, elbows get really heavy. Inhale, we'll lift up. Exhale, elbows get heavy, chin to the chest. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, unfurl the arms, take the left hand to the right shoulder, right hand is under, work our way in. Stacking the ribs right over the pelvis, ears stacking over the shoulders, take a deep breath. As you breathe out, the right shoulder gets really heavy, side body stretch. Inhale to center, exhale left. Inhale to center, exhale left, right. Inhale to center, this time left. Come back, reach the fingertips out, breathe in, sit back. Recross the ankles, taking the right hand across, left hand. So we're gonna take a full circle. So we're gonna smooth all four of those movements together. So take a deep breath, exhale, elbows heavy, rolling towards the right side, inhale, side body stretch, pause. Take a breath in, exhale, roll through extension, side body stretch to the left, pause. Breath in, exhale, roll back to the center. Now let's go the opposite way. Inhale, side bend towards the left, pause. Breath in, rolling through extension, side body stretch towards the right. Breath in. Exhale, side, coming through, through the center. Inhale, we'll lift. Reach the fingertips out and set the hands down. Pause here. Reconnect with the breath. A lot of times when we're moving into shapes or positions that our body's unfamiliar with, we get kind of that fight or flight, protective reaction. Is this safe for me? What are we doing? So let's reconnect with our breath. Let's take three breaths here. Soothing the nervous system, bringing in the relaxation response. And we're gonna end this little sequence on our back just as we started. So coming all the way down, feet as wide as our space, a little bit wider than our hips. We drop to the right, drop to the left, And then eventually, when we feel like the timing is right, we'll take those knees and just tap them inwards, hands to the belly. And I encourage you to stay here in this relaxing shape and this relaxing pose for even anywhere between eight and 10 breaths if you can manage it, the longer the better. And just being present and enjoying that few moments of stillness. 